Well, hello, folks. How are we going? <coughs> so, my name is Solomon Torkelson, and I've been wanting to do this for ages. Um, so, I've been wanting to do like live streaming and recording and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, kind of get into recording games and game walkthroughs and stuff like that while I'm talking to you guys about, like, my random as shit opinions. So, this is kind of like kicking it off proper. Being by my side, it's great. Nazi Cola. Ventress. Go look that up. History. It's kind of, it's kind of funny. Um, so, this is Freelancer. So this is a game that I brought. It was the 23rd with. century. This one's cool. Watch Mankind's this. darkest hour. Heart rate and respiration. Number. Life support online. Initiating cryogenic freezing. This was like one of the first games I played on PC. And like this first scene, wow. Go look at the director's cut. It's even more like oh. Especially if you've never played it. Seriously, when I was 12, this was like full crap. There you guys are like, <laughs> for almost a hundred years. We had been fighting for so long no one could remember the reason why it all started in the first place. All we knew is that there were two sides, the Coalition and the Alliance. For decades, millions died for the same piece of rock again and again. Finally, one side managed to gain the upper hand, the Coalition. So this is great shit. And I'm great this cat. Freelancer. Intro. It's like so much more detail. Like it blows your mind. Especially if you discover it after you play through the game. Like it's a cool. one we have the top. In desperation, the Alliance launched five sleeper ships. The hope was for them to begin again far from the war and strife that had befallen Earth, to start free from the prejudices that had divided us for so long. Each sleeper ship was christened after its patron nation. The Britonia, the Rhineland, the Hispania, the Casari, the Liberty. ships broke through the coalition blockade and so headed the for the serious system. That was 800 years ago, when we came here to rebuild our lives. We've come a long way since then. We have grown, we have prospered, we have flourished. But we will never forget. Ah, uh, awesome. So, yeah, like, like we lost our shits back in the day. Right, hopefully this works. I've been working on this for the last couple of hours, trying to get it to work, trying to get a 2002-2003 game to work on a modern computer in 2019 as a mesh. So, hopefully this works. It doesn't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Roger that. I'll 
system show green. SA-14, you're cleared for departure. This is like 2,000 years to report to We'll see you in about two weeks. Like, nuts. SA-14, we're picking up unknown contacts on long-range sensors. We're dispatching a fighter wing to escort you out of the system. Godspeed. This was like inspiring as old hell when I was 12, bro. Look at those, like holy crap! Alert! Unknown ships have breached the defense perimeter. Man off station! So sad. First time watching that, that like hurt, bro. It's like, oh, But those signals, those just like ships. President Jacoby has asked the LSF to investigate totally the sudden ships. destruction of Freeport 7. No word yet on whether it was accidental or, or a, a deliberate, deliberate attack. attack. The first handful of survivors arrived on Manhattan this morning. Hey, it's my buddy. For medical, is there anyone seriously injured? One inside. That's a kick ass ship, by the way. Make sure he lives. He owes me some credits. Your concern is touching. <laughs> we'll do everything we can. It may take a while. Officially, the Liberty Security Force maintains there is no proof Freeport 7's destruction was deliberate. But sources inside the LSF say they suspect the dangerous criminal organization, The Order. We will keep you up to date as the story develops. I actually love it. How Ooh, all the like tips and shit. Look for a job. Yeah, because that's a good idea. I actually love it how they've made the um, the Liberty like this big museum piece right in the middle of like New New York and shit. Right, cool. The other reason I wanted to do this is because like I haven't seen an actual run through. <laughs> of freelancer other than like a really kind of shitty one but it doesn't actually have somebody going through it like we didn't have this kind of well we had the technology but it re wasn't really done um at that stage i mean this is before youtube man like this came out before youtube so i kind of want to go through old school games that i grew up with and kind of just like take people through the experience because like like this didn't happen and most of you guys can't play this because it's actually kind of hard to get copies of freelance these days and this was like my first big game there were two big games that i had and it was freelancer and dungeon siege um and like they were both kind of like like big parts of my childhood so um yeah. So let's go find a job, shall we? See what kind of like characters we're dealing with here. Yeah. This guy. I love the background music. A sidewinder fang. All we have is Liberty Ale, friend. Fine. Her name's Junko Zane. She's a tough one. Oh, well, why's that? She's LSF. All business. If it's a job you're wanting, that is. On the other hand, if you're looking for something more... Well, the only thing I'm looking for right now is this drink. I've only just picked that up. <laughs> I know you. No. No, I don't think so. The news. I saw your face on the news. 
You're one of the Freeport 7 survivors, aren't you? Yeah. I heard it was pretty bad out there. You know, you're lucky to be alive. Ha. Huh. This one's on me, friend. It's the good stuff. Why? Because it's not every day a man has the chance to start again, huh? To your good fortune and liberty, sir. Well, it can't get any worse. Eh. Want a bit? Thanks. So awesome. I love how it like comes up with all the commands and stuff. It's like the tutorial. It's great. Like you can talk to people and like get info, bribes, people who want to talk to you. What's up? Need anything in particular? What do you have for me? You're new here, aren't you? Yeah. That's funny. Oh, well I work for Kashiro Technologies. We don't really run this place, but we have an understanding with the people who do. I love the outfits, the jump the jumpsuits are great. Stop wasting my time. You won't get anything from me. <laughs> right. I understand what you're saying, but I don't have nearly enough people. Juni, the environment has changed. Well, with groups like the Order taking more and more liberties, indeed now threatening our profits, some in the government feel that we need to increase our patrols in these areas. <clears throat> you, Junko Zane? Yes? I believe you have business to discuss. Wait! I will leave this matter in your capable hands. Sorry. The bartender said you work for the Liberty Security Force. And who do you work for, Mr... Um... Trent. I work for myself. What kind of ship do you have? I lost mine on Freeport 7. I see. Are you staying in Liberty long? I've got a friend who was injured in the attack. He's in medical. I'll be staying at least until he's released. Well, as it happens, I could use a good freelancer, Mr. Trent. I'll be in the equipment room later. You can meet me there. Oh, and if we are going to work together, call me Junie. Yeah, bar. Meet Judy in the equipment room. Sounds like fun. Huh? <laughs> Great. Graphics are so awesome. Hello. It's nice that lights still make that noise in 2000 years in the future. Eh? I'm pleased to see you. Are you ready to work for the LSF, Mr. Trent? It's just Trent. And yeah, I'm here to see what you have to offer. Well, I found this ship for you. It's very basic and you won't have jump access yet, but it should be good enough for now. I'm so having this like... This assignment will be anyway. easy. All you have to do is babysit a convoy of food and medical supplies. You'll be hooking up with the escort CO King. I'll tell him to expect you. That is, of course, if you're interested. I'd love to take you through all the, like, declines and accepts. Basically, you decline and she goes, Yeah, I'll still be here, ready, ready, ready. Um, but you can always go back to it. It's one of those things where, like, open world, and you can go do your own stuff, but when you need to decline, it's just a wait, and there's nothing to wait for on. So I won't bother taking you guys through all that. But so we're just going to go. Hell yeah. Sounds good. I'm in. Yeah, it does. Good, better get going. I'll have your ship moved immediately. All you'll have to do is go to the landing pad and launch. King will be waiting for you near the docking ring in space, okay? I'll see you when you get back. Thanks. Damn that ass in like 2003 graphics. Now, I never go out there with just the uh, standard rig, because that's the dumbest shit idea. Because shit's going to get real. Because, you know, nothing could ever be simple. What have we got here? All basics. Here we go. Here it is. At some point, I'll take you through the um, neural net. Because in the log, there's all the history. Now, I didn't discover all like the personal entries until later, but 
the actual neural net log entries um, will really fill out the world a lot. There's actually like some pretty solid stuff in there. Um, it explains a lot of the background um, and his friend, why he owes him money, stuff like that. So, fortunately, I think you guys will find that a bit boring. So, we are just going to, you know, kick it off. Hope you guys are enjoying this, by the way. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and comments um, below. Um, again, first time doing this kind of stuff. So I would love to hear what you guys think. And I hope you guys are enjoying this. Like, like this is fun for me. This is like reliving nostalgic as Michael King. We just call him King. I didn't actually know his name was Michael. Huh. You must be Trent. I'm King, the CEO of this mission. I contacted the lead transport of the convoy. They've completed pre-launch checks and are ready to go. Should be an easy run from here to Fort Bush and then on to Pittsburgh. Ready? It's good to meet you, King. Is that a Rhineland cruiser? That's the Donau, Admiral Schultz's flagship. He's visiting Manhattan to attend a high-level meeting with President Jacoby. Keep your distance. Your workstation, this is RNC Donau, requesting clearance to dock with your station. Oh. Affirmative, Donau. You are cleared for docking point six. Liberty welcomes you and Admiral Schultzke. Donau, be advised, we're picking up unknown contacts. Advise caution. Understood, Newark. All escorts, power up weapons. Affirmative. Ready to engage. Roger. Tracking incoming ships. This is going to get ships. This is Newark Station. You are entering restricted space. Alter course at once or we will open fire. Newark, do not interfere. We're here to protect the president. Shulsky is a traitor. All escorts, open fire. Red alert. The Donau is hit. Launch all rescue and defensive units. All other fighters engage enemy ships. No! Oh my... God. By the way, that's really hard to do. Those cruisers are huge. Pivotal moment. Damn it. They blew up the Donau! Newark, this is LSF Patrol Gamma 6. Engaging enemy! Confirmed, Gamma 6. We can't let them get away! Engage the enemy! Newark! We need reinforcements! Interceptors are en route. The Colorado and its escort are inbound. My kill, my kill, my kill. Target down. That was the last one. <coughs> Confirmed. No more enemy contacts. We read you. Radar is clear. SAR, report. Did you pick up any survivors? Negative, Newark. We're continuing our sweep. To all utility ships in the area, scan for survivors. All other vessels, return to normal duty, but stay alert. Trent. There's nothing more we can do here. The transport's are waiting at Fort Bush. I've uploaded a waypoint to your neural net. Just fly toward it. Newark, sweep is complete. No survivors detected. Over. I can't believe it. How did they get this close to Manhattan without being detected? All right, we've reached the trade lane. Engaging activation sequence. Trent, you go first. So, big catastrophe. We now know who the bad guys are. Let's go get them. Activation sequence completed. Lane jump initiated. This is so cool. This is it, Trent. This is one of the major arteries through Manhattan's space. We're only taking it as far as Fort Bush. If we kept going, 
We've reached the jump gate to the Colorado system. Transport leader, this is LSF Patrol Gamma 6. We're here to escort you to Pittsburgh. Over. Roger, Gamma 6. This is the USV Brandt. Pre-launch checks have been completed. Trent, take up a position near the transport. Use the formation maneuver to link up with the convoy. Check. This is transport leader. All ships are in position and we show green status. We heard the news about Shotsky. What happened? The planetary defense grid was offline and the order managed to break through. They took out the Donau with their first missile salvo. We never had a chance to stop them. Looked like the order was determined to keep Shotsky from meeting the president. Hard to believe that this could happen. We better get going. Let's hope for the best. Several convoys have come under attack in recent weeks. The rogue problem has gotten out of control in this area. Don't worry. That's why we're here. Activation sequence completed. Lane jump initiated. Looking good so far. Alert! Trade lane disruption detected. Formation lost. Hello. Damn it! Trent, get your weapons ready! This could get rough! There! Rogues! Trent, break an attack! We've got to keep them away until the trade lane comes back up! First time I played this. Last one. We better get out of here before oh, more of them show up. So hard the first time. But I died the first time the I did that. Is back up. Let's... Wait. Radar shows new targets. Gamma six. We have to make a run for it. We'll cover you. This is gonna be close, but I think we can make it without another fight. Everybody, stay on course. Trent, do not engage the pirates. We have to get the convoy out of here. Freelancer Discovery, you can actually play as the big ones, you can't do that so much in this one. Which is sad. Because I love trading. Because you might be able to tell. Pittsburgh! We made it! Everybody in one piece! Fairly, that was close. Thanks for getting us here in one piece, Gamma 6. We almost didn't make it. Oh, come on, you didn't. I the can situation take we're damage. soon to fix. The rogues were better equipped than we expected, but we got what we came for. Thanks for playing the bait. Now it's your turn to reel him in, King. We're gonna unload our cargo. Remember our bargain. I'm transferring the payment to your neural net account. Understood. Transport leader out. Hey, King. What's going on? You'll see soon enough. Go ahead and land on Pittsburgh. I'll meet you on the surface. Level one! Woo! You'll find Pittsburgh to be remarkably unexciting, Trent. Just That's the mining operation. 
Not much to look at. A lot of rocks, smoke, and fire. But what it lacks in class, it more than makes up for in cheap drinks. Set your ship down on one of the landing pads over there. Credits. Hey, King, did you know it was gonna get hot out there? Mm -hmm. We're not done yet. We're just waiting for the others. What others? We've suspected for some time now that the Order has had ties to organized crime and liberty. They may even be hiding a secret base. I think we're on to something here, and I've called for backup. We could really use you out there, Trent. All right, but this had better be worth it. It will be. I promise you. Oh, and, uh, Trent, now that you have a little scratch, I'd look into outfitting that pile of junk you're flying. Trent Equipment Dealer over there. He always has good deals. I'll see you in space. Nope. No good deals in Liberty. But he's got a better point. Hey, level one! Alright, let's see if I picked up any scrap. Oh. I'm gonna hold on to those. Those sound pretty right. Bad This is the point. Thinking space. La, 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 la. I'd love to upgrade my ship. I don't have money for that right now. So, in the meantime, I have a little bit of money. Having good gear at the beginning of the game is kind of useful, just cause. No, I'll show you this shit. This is a Rhino. Hello, expensive, especially when I have no money. Um, but oh, oh, as we go through the game, I'm gonna show you guys like what's doable, kind of trade routes you can make, um, where special loot is, so that you can advance through. Um, the game a little bit faster, um, with less running around and stuff like that. But yeah, that's kind of it for a first video. We got to level one. What I think I'll do is like I'll take you guys as many levels as possible, as fast as possible. But and you know, kind of took a little bit to get into the game, so we'll just leave it at there tonight. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed that. I have, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think. If you like me doing stuff like this, you're more than welcome to check out my Patreon if you like what I'm doing well, like with the rest of the club and the Zia and stuff like that. That's also um, awesome and you can help me out there as well. Failing that, you can come down to the club and actually say hello. You can come like eat somewhere like the like, amazing toasties and hot dogs I make here. Um, people seem to enjoy them, so um, yeah. Well, I mean, they keep coming back, so I suppose that's a good sign, right? Um, but yeah, that's kind of it in a nutshell, um, and I will catch you guys in like the next Freelancer video, it's going to be great. Right, cheers guys, I will save this, and get out of here. Yolandia, yeah, that's me, how's it going? Right, cheers guys. 29 minutes. That's alright. Alright. Cheers, guys. Bye! <laughs>